Hello everyone and thank you so much for being in this beginner Unreal tutorial that will show you how to create a really simple triggered event in Unreal Engine. So triggered event is basically anything that happens inside of your level once you start playing or the player begins playing and reaches a particular area. Once that happens the same area is first able to recognize the player and then send a command that will start a particular event. Now the event can be anything, in this case it will be a simple particle emitter, starting up a particle emitter, which will begin once the player enters a particular volume of space. Now in Unreal Engine you do that through blueprints, more precisely through editing your level blueprint and with the use of a trigger box. But now we're going to go through this step by step so you can kind of figure out what the whole process is actually about and how you can implement it in your levels. So as you can see this is my level, I used it a lot in my previous Unreal Engine beginner tutorial so check this out on my channel. But here we're going to use this corner of the same level next to these a lot of balls where my player capsule is player start is located and I plan to create a volume of space that will be set right here in front of the player capsule and once the player enters the same space a simple particle system which you also have in your starter content right here will begin working. Now to do that I first need to set up a box trigger so you can only simply uh, Google, <laughs> not actually Google, sorry about that, you can search the act place actors and add to do that I'm going to add a trigger box now to find it simply search in place actors the word trigger and here it is box trigger as you can see there are other shapes that you can also use like a sphere capsule and so forth but we're going to use a box and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to enlarge it like you would anything in Unreal so simply using this scale command and I'm also going to extrude it like this so as you can see here it is here is my box trigger and it's able to detect anything entering or leaving the same space and then sending the command to the rest of the blueprint system. The first thing is the box trigger volume but the second thing is an actor that I'll need which will be used by the blueprint, the level blueprint to actually reference the thing that I want to activate with my box trigger. So I'm going to create a, a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, let's say uh, trigger fire and here I'm going to create a new blueprint class which is going to be an actor that I'm going to call trigger fire and it's going to be used later on through the blueprint modification level blueprint to actually start this animation or more precisely this particle system so I'm going to place it here and with that we can start editing our level blueprint and setting up the actual system inside of the blueprint of the level blueprint that will activate fire so to do that you go to your blueprints open level blueprint and with the trigger box selected so let me just double check that and see if the trigger box is selected so back to level blueprints first thing we need is to actually get a node called on actor begin overlap which is the trigger box connected so it's reference to a trigger box you can see so we're going to add on actor begin overlap so this is basically a simple setup saying to the blueprint start something when the player overlaps or enters the same volume of space in the level 
Now, here are where things get a bit complicated and this is a place where you can easily kind of get confused uh, and uh, stuck in a place if you're following tutorials like this. Where do we cast this element? So right now, for me, I don't have a first person or a third person player blueprint as you can see it's not here and instead I have player start and I have the capsule in here and that is actually the thing that as you can see capsule component collision capsule which I'm going to use to cast upon the same on player overlap so let's go back to the blueprint here I'm going to search for collision capsule and this is going to be the element that this this node is going to look for I'm going to cast it back to target self and from here on out I'm going to add a emitter spawn or spawn emitter at location and this is actually the moment and the set that will spawn my emitter which will emit the flames so I'm going to look for fire in the particle systems and I got it here and here is slowly the place where we're going to add this initially set blueprint of the player of the reference and the blueprint actor trigger fire so I'm going to get the name here I'm going to find it among other elements by simply searching for it and finding the object and now we have that reference here and we're going to now use it to get the location and we're using it from here from the spawner emitter to ask or get the node called get actor location here it is and we're going to cast it from trigger fire get trigger fire and we're going to cast it into get location the last thing I'll need to do is to define trigger fire through this default value and set it also to trigger fire and with that I should have my entire setup ready to go so trigger box 2 is this place where I'm starting this blueprint setup this blueprint node on actor begin overlap trigger box 2 it's connected to the trigger box 2 add collision to the capsule which then sends it to the spawn emitter location it asks for the location and gets it through this object through this actor which then sends it back and it spawns the fire particle on that spot so pretty simple pretty straightforward with some nuances but nothing too major so let's see how does it look in the game itself first I'm going to comply it I'm going to save and let's see it here it is here is my player I'm entering the space and here it is there's that beautiful gorgeous little fire burning away nice and cozy like in the nothingness of this level so you saw it the system of actually triggering events is pretty simple this one is an explanation how you can do it and use it for particles but you can basically use the same concept with anything else having in mind that you need to define who is actually your player and how will that trigger box recognize the moment when that same player whatever is representing the player in the game enters the same volume of space that's all for this short and simple tutorial hopefully you found it interesting if you did please leave a like let me know if you have any comments in the section below or questions and if you're a first time viewer please subscribe for more tutorials on starting to use unreal engine as a total and complete beginner that's all, thank you so much again for watching and have a great day and loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.